Oh my god, those are from swatches, you guys. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Is my hair doing that the whole time? Hey guys, it's me Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is gonna be a little bit different than the regular beauty videos I do, and that is because we're gonna be testing out this new app. Now, this is called the Make App. <laughs> Makeup. If I say it really quick, it kind of sounds like how my dad normally says the word makeup because he's so foreign. It's kind of funny to me. Now this app is kind of controversial. It's getting some bad press. I've read a few articles about it and that is because it's supposed to be able to take off makeup from a photo. So if there's a girl or a guy wearing photo and any sort of makeup, it can remove the makeup. It can also add makeup, but that's not as interesting because there's a lot of apps that can do that. But mainly I wanted to try this out because it supposedly can remove makeup, which is like kind of crazy to me. I would want to know, you know, if I can see what somebody looks like with no makeup through the app like celebrities or whatever or somebody can go through my photos and like take my makeup off I want to know you know we're gonna find out if it can actually do it today this video is not sponsored I know a lot of the times app type of videos are I wish this one was but it's not so makeup you know if you want to pay me for this video please but anyways I'm gonna review it regardless so let's get right into it because I'm really excited to try this app out so first let's start by opening up the app in iTunes and seeing what it says says about it what this app can do so the description it says make app lets you add or remove makeup from any face choose a photo or video press one button and let the app do its magic Wow okay so that is definitely intriguing I personally wore a lot of makeup for this video really dark makeup just to really see if we can put it to the test and see how much it can do because if it can take this off and make it look like I have a natural face then maybe it really can take makeup off of any picture so it's got a four star our review all right decent I've already downloaded it let's scroll through the pictures it says take a picture remove makeup add makeup many styles supports video Wow, you put video in there? So let's open the app. And so it shows all my pictures. Before doing this video, I saved a bunch of Google images of celebrities with makeup, without makeup, so we can compare and see if the app really gets it right. And then we'll also do my own face later on. So first let's choose one of the celebrity photos. Let's do Rihanna first. We'll do her Fenty Beauty picture. And it looks like normally where there's filters, they actually have the different type of editing tools at the bottom there. So we have the original right here. So the second option here is remove so let's go ahead and click that and see what it comes up with okay that's actually not bad at all like she doesn't look hideous she just looks like she has no makeup let's go back without makeup with makeup without makeup with makeup without makeup it also looks like it kind of just changed her skin tone completely because even in her shoulders and her neck with makeup without makeup you can see that her shoulders and her neck are like a completely different color so that's kind of different but this one's not that bad at all so now let's go through the different filters Filters. So this is Toulon and these are supposed to add makeup. So she already has makeup on in this picture We can test this out with somebody that has no makeup on in theirs, but let's just do it for fun This is Cayenne Le Havre. <laughs> I suck at speaking French. So these are just really extra, like super dramatic makeup pics. And it's just applying the makeup on her face, but it doesn't look very natural. And it might just be because she already has makeup on. So now let's go to another picture of Rihanna with makeup. What is this? Why is it locked? Uh-uh. It's telling me that I have to pay $139 for unlimited photos. Should I do it? I'm gonna do it for the video. Okay. $139. You guys better watch all the ads in this video so I can make that back. Thank you. Okay. So this is the second photo of Rihanna with makeup on. So now let's see it removed. Okay, this one's kind of a fail because you can still see the shadow on her eyes and she just turned into like a painting. It looks like she's a painting to me. So let's go back to see original, remove, original, remove, original, remove. Okay, so this one I'm not as impressed by. I think we got lucky with the first one because it actually looked legit. Like she had no makeup on, it looked fine. I feel like I've seen quite a few pictures of Rihanna without makeup and that's kind of what she looks like. But this one, you can still see remnants of makeup on her face. You can still see her lashes are really long. You can still see the smoky eye and her like lip liner. Even her complexion is not completely removed. So maybe it works for some pictures and not for others. Now let's go to a picture of Rihanna without makeup. They're kind of hard to find. So this is what I found. 
So this is Rihanna without makeup. Now let's try and add makeup to her face. This is the filter Toulon. Okay, that's not bad. That looks kind of legit. The next one. No, that one doesn't look as good. Le Havre. Well, that one's kind of doing something wonky with her eye and it only got one eye, maybe because she's turned to the side. So let's just go through all the other filters really quickly. Hmm, I think this one's having a hard time because she's only showing like one side of her face, but it kind of looks legit. So now we're at the original picture of Rihanna with no makeup or supposedly no makeup. She might have a little something, something, but who knows? And now let's just try and remove her no makeup and see what it comes up with. Okay, so this is still believable to me. Clearly though, it looks way scarier than what she actually looks like with no makeup because this is the original of her with no makeup. But I mean, if she did have makeup and the app's supposed to think that she has makeup on in this picture, sure, maybe she can look like that naturally when it removes the makeup. Now let's go to another celebrity. So far, I'm like kind of impressed, especially with the first Rihanna picture. So now let's do Kim Kardashian. So this is a picture of Kim Kardashian with makeup on. Let's click remove. Okay, what? Original, remove. Original, remove. You guys, <laughs> it's actually kind of like not bad at all. I tried this app with a couple pictures before filming this video and it was really scary, but right now it's actually kind of working. Maybe they updated it, not sure. So now let's go to the other filters. It just adds a lot of makeup and makes it look kind of fake, but not bad. It really just makes her look like a painting when I'm trying to apply these other makeup looks. All right, let's go to another picture of Kim Kardashian with makeup on. Now let's remove the makeup off Kim. This one is scary. Why are we having a hard time with like the second pictures of everybody? So this one, you can still see remnants of makeup. Her complexion looks kind of weird. It still looks like she has makeup on though in some areas. It just makes it look more muddy. So this one is kind of a fail. This is the original, remove, original, remove. Hmm, maybe it's because her head's turned a little bit. Not sure. Let's go back. So now this is a picture of Kim with no makeup on. So you guys can kind of reference, like did it make it look like her true self? I'm not sure. Now let's click remove to see what it makes it look like. So you can really see what the app does when you use those no makeup pictures and also remove the makeup with filter. So it kind of just dulls your complexion, will take away color from the brows, take away color from the eyes and make it more splotchy, you know? So since this is a no makeup picture, of Kim, let's try the different filters to apply makeup on her face and see how it turns out. Oh, that one's really scary. KN, that one's scary as well. It's like missing part of her lips and her entire eyes are covered. I think you really have to be looking straight ahead for this to work perfectly. Le Havre has blue all over her hair and her lips and it just looks not right. Like you can tell it's super edited. Now Nancy, yeah. Okay, so using the filters to add makeup, so far I'm not that impressed by. I do think that it works better if it's a straight on shot though, but for the removal of makeup, like it's like 50-50 so far. Now let's do Angelina Jolie, because this is a lot of fun. <laughs> so this is the original of Angelina Jolie. This is a straight on shot, so I'm hoping we can get good results. Let's click remove, okay? Hmm, it kind of did something to mess up her eye shape. Let me go back to original, remove, original, remove, original, remove. So I'm impressed with this one. So it basically took all of her eyeshadow and foundation, it looks like off, and it kind of messed up her eyes a little bit. One seems a little bit smaller than the other. So that must be when it's taking off the eyeliner. And then also her brows are a different shade. But again, you can see like it taking foundation off kind of just means that it's gonna make your skin look really splotchy because it was doing it down on her neck and her neck in the previous picture and shoulders I'm sure don't have like a ton of makeup. I mean they could but doubt it. That's where you can really see what it's doing when it says it's taking off your makeup. It's like dulling your face, making it more splotchy and making it a little bit lighter too. It makes it like washed out. So let's go back and look at the picture of Angelina Jolie without makeup. So looking at this picture you can compare it to what the AI came up with when it took her makeup off and it's not that much of a difference. It really isn't. I think she still looked really good with what the AI took off. Like she still looked fine afterwards. So now let's click remove makeup off of her no makeup pick and see what happens. Hmm. So it just kind of took away her lashes and made her eyebrows even lighter and add some splotchiness to her skin. Interesting. Remove, original, remove, original, remove, original, remove. So now let's play with the makeup filters on the original picture of her. This is Toulon. 
Mm. Again, her eyeshadow is very unblended. <laughs> Doesn't look right. Let's go with KN. No, her lipstick looks splotchy. Like you can tell this is fake. Le Havre. Again, not convinced that the makeup is natural or applied like in real life. You can tell it's kind of pixelated and like etchy, sketchy, you know? Nancy, hmm, again. I think that these could be improved upon if you take this picture and save it from this app, but put it into another app and kind of use like a blur tool or a smoothing tool or something on the eyeshadow to make it blend more and make it not as harsh and looking like it's fake, you know? But from what it is right now in the app, like it doesn't look natural. Natural. So I could tell that somebody edited it on. That's really hard to say, edited it on. <laughs> edited it on. You feel me? Anyways, next picture. So now that we've tried a bunch of celebrities, let's try it out on me and see how it goes. But before we take a picture of my makeup and try and remove it, I have a picture of me wearing no makeup from a few days ago when I first got this app and tested it out. So let's play with that first. So this is me without makeup. Now for fun, let's see what the AI does if it thinks it has to remove any sort of makeup on my face. Remove. Ew. It's really scary. For some reason my eyeballs look more blue, which they aren't. So it did that, but my brows are obviously a lot lighter. They almost look bleached. And then also it added some redness around my nose, really made my forehead more splotchy. And it also emphasized the dark circles underneath my eyes. So, I mean, I look really, really scary and it changed my eye color, which I thought was weird, but it was a no makeup picture so maybe it got confused or something. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. So now let's see how it looks when I add makeup to my face. This is Toulon. Hey, not bad, not bad. Let's move on to the next one, KN. This is actually not bad. My brows are really harsh and scary, but not too bad. Maybe because I'm looking straight on, the other ones, I don't know, were kind of wonky, but this doesn't look bad at all. Next one. So the blue smoky eyes kind of getting up in my eyeball. So this one's not really realistic. Let's move on to Nancy, Metz, Arles, Borges, Le Mans, Charters, Dunkirk, Okay, so a few of the makeup filters actually didn't look like that bad. Like this Dunkirk one, maybe. I mean, it still kind of looks fake to me, but I feel like if I were to save this photo, take it into another editing app, try and like make it grainy a little bit, I don't know, cool it down. Maybe it could look more realistic, but let's take a picture of my face right now. Let me move my hair a little bit out of my face. So this is the photo I just took. Now let's remove the makeup. Okay. <laughs> it's a little scary. Mm. Let me retake the photo and try and do this a little bit better. Okay, now that's the second photo. Close up, let's remove the makeup. It's missing some of the blue eyeshadow in my one eye and my eyebrows are like almost gone. What's up with that? I still have a little bit of the lip gloss on. Let's take one more photo. I'm gonna put my hair behind my ears. Now let's click remove. Okay, so the blue eyeshadow I feel like is throwing the AI off or maybe it just can't completely remove it, but you can definitely see every single time there's still quite a bit of that blue eyeshadow left on the one side of my eye. So maybe it doesn't work the best with really dramatic makeup. But when we were looking at the Angelina Jolie pics and like the Rihanna pic when they were wearing really natural makeup, it seemed to work really well and it looked like they're legitimate, like no makeup selves. But for me, it's kind of having a hard time taking away the eyeshadow. And I feel like they improved the app since the last time I tried it a few days ago because the skin, every time I was trying to remove the makeup, it would like add pimples and like add a lot of redness and stuff. And it made it look so much more horrendous than some somebody would actually look without makeup. So I'm gonna save this picture where it stripped me of my makeup and says that this is what I look like without makeup. I'm gonna save it. So now that I have the no makeup picture saved, what I'm gonna do is take off all of my makeup. I don't want to because it's so cute. It actually turned out really well, but you know, I'll do it for you guys for the video. I'm gonna take my makeup off, come back and see the resemblance. Like if I really look like that without makeup or what the AI got wrong. And then I think I have my final thoughts on this app. All right, so I've washed my face, completely took off all makeup. Now let's compare it next to the no makeup look that the app gave me. So what do you guys think? Obviously there's a huge difference. I would say that the app kind of just like added texture to my skin, but didn't necessarily like take off all my foundation 
clearly in real life I have way more discoloration and more dark circles. It also didn't do a great job of taking off my blue eyeshadow or my liner. You can still see some makeup on my lids. It lightened up my brows a lot, like almost made them look bleached and in person obviously they're not like that. So I think it just automatically assumes that you're coloring in your brows way darker with makeup than they are naturally because with every single picture that's what I noticed. So I'm not sure if it's because I had a super dramatic makeup look but it didn't hit it right on the nose. It actually just messed up my skin a little bit more and added some pinkness around my nose. I think it just kind of guesses where somebody would have like redness on their face and it adds it there which is kind of unfair because if you don't have like redness or discoloration in your skin I happen to actually have that but if you don't then it's probably going to make you look uglier than you actually look without makeup which is not a good thing but let's do one last test now I'm going to use the add-on makeup filters because I have no makeup on so we can really see how real the makeup filters will look so let's take a photo oh god let's see what it looks like with no makeup I'm going to click remove just for fun oh it's so scary <laughs> anyways now let's add makeup let's go to Toulon no it's still not good you guys so far I don't know that I like the add-on makeup filters any more than I do the removing makeup filter yeah these aren't looking great Mets nah no ma'am oh my gosh my skin looks so crazy no 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 these don't look great at all last one mm -mm. what's on my forehead what is it? what's oh you can turn it up and turn it down that's kind of cool I didn't know that I just realized as I was trying to zoom in I guess you can adjust the filter cool let's try that with a couple of them so now I'm gonna go to the one that looks the most real Nancy looks kind of real let's turn it down a little bit and see how real we can get it hmm 52% just looks like I don't know how to apply makeup doesn't look that great. Now let's do Cayenne, turn it down. Again, not loving it. Toulon, turn it down to 40%. They all look the same when you turn them down that much, but uh, no, I'm not liking those at all. All right, so I feel like we've tested out every single aspect of this app in all the different ways that you can use it, and I think I have my final verdict. So if you really want to try and make the app work, I think you can to a degree. I found it worked best with like far away photos of really, really natural makeup in super, super good lighting. So if you had that perfect photo and you really wanted to know what that person looked like without their minimal makeup, like maybe you could put it into the app and it might show you like a 70% resemblance to what they might look like without makeup. But I think right now using this app on pictures with makeup on will just make the person look even worse than they do without makeup because it just adds like texture to the skin, adds like splotchiness, dullness, and, and a lot of the times people's natural skin don't even look like that. So right now I'm gonna say that it's kind of a fail. It needs some working on and I also don't know who really thought to make an app like this. Like why do you need to know what a person looks like without makeup? You guys let me know what do you think of the app? How accurate do you think it is? Do you feel like we even need an app that can remove makeup? I mean I feel like it's kind of offensive personally especially since it doesn't do such a great job and it can make you actually look worse without makeup so that's my opinion it was fun to play around with that's for sure and if they improve the app and try and make it even more realistic it could be cool i don't know i still probably would never use it also i paid 139 to get the unlimited version of this app i definitely don't think it's worth that much and i would have just closed the app and deleted it if i wasn't making this video just because i could kind of tell after the first like two or three pictures it wasn't that great, you know, and I had no use for the app otherwise, but that's something to consider. 139 for that. What do you guys think? Anyways, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you check out my other videos. You might like those ones as well and subscribe to my channel before you go so you don't miss out on future videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye.